first and foremost, just how's, how's the practice has been this week? Trying yeah. to bounce back from, from you know, because uh, we were all down in the dumps, right? And we came back in here uh, Monday, and the guys had, you know, they were still down because we let one get away, and we that was one. We played four quarters in it. We knew it was going to be a four four quarter game. We didn't get the W, but the guys had a good spirited practice. Um, yesterday was a good physical practice. Today, we we uh, focused on more some more third down and red zone situations and had a productive day today. So, the, the red zone stuff. Have you seen yeah. improvements this week? Uh, how do you kind of yeah. assess that? And, and I guess how do you balance that with knowing how close you guys have been? Right? You yeah. Dropped a couple passes in yeah. the end zone. It's, so it's not like it hasn't been there. Yeah. You know. I, I guess uh, Coach Elliott said when, in the staff meeting. Uh, Bobby Bob in the quote, right? You, you lose, you lose big, then you lose small, then you win small, then you win big. So we're in those stages here as a program, and it's frustrating, you know, for the players and for the coaches. I mean, the guys are they're working, and we're we're working, and you know, it just hasn't um, benefited us making a play yet, you know, down in those situations. But the beauty of it, we get another opportunity on Saturday. So, guys have responded, we responded, and we'll go back out there this week with Carolina. You know, I've had some success as a player you know, back in college beating Carolina, as a coach beating Carolina. So let's go do it this Saturday here. Yeah. You guys have been kind of thin on the offensive line yeah. with some injuries. How much have you seen Noah Josie respond to getting those snaps now? Yeah, of it? he responded very well. And, you know, number six for Miami is a damn good player. And, and, and Noah should have some confidence coming from this game where there were some times where he blocked that guy pretty good. Now, that guy got him too. You know, he's a good player. But for Noah – he should build on that and say, you know what, I can do this, and I can just do it consistently. Have you ever had a season where you've had to juggle the offensive line as, as much as you guys have? Been? Not in my not in my recollection, no. And you know, but yeah, it's a it's a good thing for us, for our program, for us coaches. A lot of guys getting a, a lot of work. You know, not reaping the uh, fruits of our labor right now, but hopefully that turns and and uh, we can get it this Saturday. Coach Elliott said that Paris likely won't be able to go yeah. this weekend, but. What, did, what have you seen from Mike Collins recently yeah. that kind of gives you more confidence? You know, one thing, Mike's done a better job of taking care of the football, which that plagued him early in the year with some fumbles. You know, he's always been a guy that can catch it and do a good job of pass protection. And I was excited that he made that play for us, you know, just on the third down, catching the ball, you know, making an explosive play out in the perimeter. And, you know, Mike's got to have a big game for us on Saturday. He's ready for us. He's had a good week of practice. With the Carolina's defense, yeah. they've been better since ACC play started. Yeah. What have you seen from, from Carolina? Well, you know, the guys um, up front, you know, they do a good job there. They got some big guys inside that can, can plug up some running lanes. And they try not to give up a big play, you know, in the secondary. So they play a lot of off coverage. Whereas last couple of weeks we've been seeing a lot of man coverage. They play a lot of off coverage. They're mixing some man, but they try not to eliminate, try to eliminate the big play. And we're going to have to test them and see if we can make the big play on them, even though they're playing zone coverage. Because, you know, you look at, at Pitt, um, Got some explosive plays on them. Duke got some explosive plays on them. So they're there. We just got to execute it and, and, and make plays down the field. So you guys got to feel good that you've made some long yeah. plays the past couple yeah. of weeks, yes. right? We have. And we need more, though. Yeah. And they need to turn into touchdowns <laughs> and not trips on the on the three-yard line, you know, with that. So, but no, nah, in all seriousness, no, they have. And, you know, we're going to take some shots and see if we can make the plays down the field. And, you know, it's to turn out a game with the run game, you know, I think. Um, we may have opportunity here to, to run the ball against these guys in some, in some situations. And doing those both together with some shots down the field and an effective run game can, can hopefully result in a win for us. What needs to change down there in the red zone for you guys to have some more success? Well, we got, well, got to give them some better calls, right? And then we got to execute them, right? Got to catch the ball, right? Spin a play. Got to cover a guy up and run through a tackle. Because when you get down there inside the five, right, there's going to be guys, 10 guys at the line of scrimmage. We can't block them all, you know, so the guys got to break a tackle, you know, and then we got to make plays. Hey, you know, because Carolina is so explosive on yeah. offense, do you go in thinking, you know, we need to possess the, the ball for yeah. X amount of time or you, not? You, you know, know you if, hey, if we were at that point right now, we just need to move the ball and score the ball. <laughs> and, and if we score three plays, hey, defense, get out there and stop them because we hadn't done that. But if we got to drive for 10 or 12 plays and score, great. But let's just keep the ball, don't turn it over, and punch it in the end zone. Uh, Elliot was saying, like, a lot of the players look to B.A. to make yeah. that play whenever yeah. you're down. Do you see other players now yeah. kind of taking their responsibility you know, a little bit? I think you start to see it in uh, Georgia Tech for Dontavian, right, and doing that. Uh, Keaton, is, I think he's been doing that for the last couple of weeks for us. Getting Billy back Saturday, you know, you saw Billy come out there, he made some plays. We've been missing that for a couple of weeks. So with the combination of that, um, 
with having Billy out there and the way Wicks has come in the last couple weeks and, and Keaton keep doing what he's doing. And then Mike come out and, and can, can run the ball for us. You know, Noah Josie plays better, continue those guys and we'll put it all together. It'll be a great one, you know, to beat these guys Saturday, man. It'll be a great one. I know we saw Jay and the, the package you guys had for yeah. Saturday. How is he developing kind of behind yeah. the scenes just as a quarterback? No, he, he, he's developing fine, you know, because you think about it, he's had to catch up, right? Miss spring ball, you know. Think, you know, happy for him throwing at 99 miles per hour or whatever. But so, you know, we're midpoint season and, you know, still we got some stuff in this game plan to do um, and see where it goes. We'll have however the game flows. Yeah.